Yes. Oh, yes. shit. <laughs> Stab. Oh, no. Oh, no. Low HP. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting right into it. <laughs> and, oh shit. <laughs> ah! Oh. Wait, I didn't mean it, I swear. <laughs> oh, that was. That was, that was good. yeah, that was. <laughs> like it. Ah! Oh. Oh wow, okay. Now I can't do that. Alright, run him down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What the hell? You gotta, you gotta get your this way down, This isn't right! <laughs> kill blue, kill blue. No! No, red people die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Yay, oh, wow. so we got a couple of playtests this month. You could be a playtester too. Just join the Discord. Link below. Anyways, you watched some footage from the second playtest in the intro. Uh, our first playtest had one particular issue that may stick out to you, but we we definitely learned a lot and improved our combat based on the results. Alright, everyone form a Form a goon circle. Who's up first? Our challengers all circle up. Oh, it's looking like the first contenders are going in. It's red versus blue, a classic matchup. Who are our fighters? Let's see. Let's go. What do you got? Chad goes for the swipe. Bjorn tries to parry. He's out of range. Connects with the light attack. Hits with the heavy attack. And he's rolling out. Hits him with the rolling attack. Can we get a replay on that? Oh my god. Look at the reflexes. What moves. Amazing. Alright. It's really on now. You can see Bjorn go for the stab while Chad goes for the heavy. He hits with the stab. It's amazing. And he hits him with the heavy sliding oh, yes, attack. Dad. Incredible. The crowd goes wild! Look at them celebrating! It's insanity! Oh my lord! It's incredible! Take that. Hey! So, yeah. Made a lot of improvements based on that first playtest. Some of the stuff was added in before, but to give you a rundown of the new features, uh, we got a couple new things that are really worth getting excited about. First up, we got our falling attack. So you can see that if you jump off a ledge, falling attack, sprint attack, very nice little sprint attack, rolling attack. Wow, we got a block. Ah, we got a parry. Parry uh, ended up being pretty difficult to hit in the second playtest. Ready? Yeah. Right. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, shit! I wasn't ready. We also added in rotation during attacks to help you connect on a moving target. Skelly's pretty much the worst target to show this on, so I'll show you here, but 
can see as you rotate uh, the controller stick during the attack, you actually rotate. That's cool. We added in a particle effect to show the swing. <clears throat> and this actually shows you your hitbox, the, uh, the trail behind the weapon. And you can see we did some UI stuff as well. UI is looking better. We had a second play test. You saw a lot of footage from that in the intro, so I won't show too much here. But I'll show you one fight that I had that was pretty good. Oh, you can see the interchangeable lock-on system there, working as intended. Nice. I'm doing a little dance there, a little shuffle. Got a couple stabs in. Three stabs. Wow. Uh, going for that really difficult parry. We improved the parry timing since this because it was difficult to hit. We've been working away at the boss arena as well. So players will spawn outside of these gates, have to work their way in. Uh, potentially through some trash mobs in the demo state, but we're not sure about that yet. See they're greeted by statues. And we've been working a lot on this cathedral. It's going to be one of the three dominant structures in the arena. It's pretty typical gothic architecture, flying buttresses, spires. You can't actually enter the building, but you can jump off of a little porch in the back, which uh, at the time of this recording wasn't implemented yet. You can get a feel for how the artwork is starting to come together for the arena based on this video. And the overall size and shape of the boss arena. Ultimately the boss is going to gallop around these side paths in between fighting you in the field of flowers. So we think it's going to be a really fun and engaging boss fight. Speaking of the boss, we've got the model nearly finished. This is the high poly version. You can see she's got her cowl sprouting out of a nice flower there. Uh, looks like a lily. She's got her horse armor on and her body's in various states of decay. A little close up on the spine ridge there. You can see on her skeleton's tails, her spine tails, that she's got blooming vines along the length of them, which I think turned out really nice. With the flower in full bloom at the end on the scythe. So the next step for her is texturing, rigging, and animating. So in the next video we'll see a lot more of her. Just getting a close-up shot on the legs there, you can see the petals kind of sprouting out of the skin. Uh, major floral theme with this boss. I think it's looking cool. So that's where we're at with Gladiator. More exciting things to come and I can't wait to share them with you. Big thanks to the team. You guys make it possible. Another special thank you to our Patreons, Carly and David. If you want to support us on Patreon, the link will be down below. We're also on social media, so if you are a fan of any of these channels, please follow us. We'd love that. And in case you were wondering what it's like to fight someone in your game for the first time, here you go. This is what it feels like.